Hi, I'm Penny Reeve and I'm a children's and young adult author. And in today's video, I'm answering the question, I want to write a children's picture book. Do I need an illustrator? So you're writing a children's picture book. You've got your text all worked out. Do you need to find your own illustrator to have your book published? The quick answer, no. <laughs> there are some picture books that are written by an author illustrator. And that's a person who is equally gifted in writing text and writing um, and, and creating illustrations. And so putting the two together is just natural for them. And they are a one person project. This picture book comes with text illustrations, voila, one author illustrator. Let's put them to the side for a moment. There's another kind of picture book that is completely illustration only, no text. Most of the time that is done by an illustrator only. Uh, without an involvement of an author. So we'll also put that to the side. For the rest of us who are trying to write books and we write what we think is a wonderful story, do we need to find an illustrator? The answer is normally no. Publishers like to receive a picture book manuscript as is text only without even suggestions for illustrations. And there's a reason for that. And don't worry, it's a good one. Publisher works with a pool of illustrators and they've got a whole range of illustrators usually uh, that they have access to or that they can contract if they don't already have on their books. And those illustrators are highly talented, specialized people who bring their incredible skills to the picture book creating world. Now, you might think to yourself, oh, but my auntie's cousin's brother's sister is an awesome illustrator and I really want them to do the work. Now, they might be an awesome illustrator, but often it's best to just let the publisher make those decisions. Because one of the cool things and one of the things I love, I really, really love about writing picture books is that interplay between words and text. Because a picture book is not just pictures that accompany story. The pictures are contributing and building on and, and expanding and, and even bringing more story. And there's something that kind of is just mysterious and wonderful when those two pieces, the text and the illustration, come together and bring layer upon layer. If you look at some really good picture books, and if you are trying to be a picture book writer, I'd recommend going to the library and just borrow out a stack and just look at them and study them, see how they're done. There is just an interplay that happens. Sometimes the text will say one thing and the illustration will do something else. So do you need to find your own illustrations? The answer is no, you don't. Uh, often accompanying with this question is, do I get a say? Uh, it depends on your publisher and the author-publisher relationship. Sometimes the, the publisher will ask for some input on style and things like that. Other, other times they just say, hey, this is the illustrator you're going to be working with. It's... It's never really disappointed me to have a publisher choose the illustrator. Um, one Potteroo, uh, this illustrator, I've never met this woman, uh, Alicia, but I love her work. And she did such an awesome job from end papers um, to the internals. Uh, she just conveyed uh, the, the emotion of the story and, and she did it just so well. And I was just in awe when having a look at her work. There is a time when you do need to choose your own illustrator and that would be if you're going down the self-publishing route. If you are self-publishing a picture book, um, it's going to cost you a bit of money because you want to pay your, or your illustrator fairly for their work. Uh, and I'd also say don't skimp on it because if anybody is judging books by their covers, it's the buyers of children's books. Um, the cover is what determines whether your book is going to sell. The cover determines whether the child is going to say, Mom, can I have this story again? So invest in it if you're, if you're self-publishing. Um, but if you're going down the traditional publishing route, and I'll talk about that in a different video, um, nope, you do not need to provide your own illustrations if you're writing a picture book. Hope you found this video helpful. Um, please like and subscribe and share um, if you think other people might find it useful as well. Uh, if you have any other questions you'd like me to cover, please comment in the comments and I'll see what I can do. All for now.